Mary Holland, I, I know you go in, into schools and, and help kids with what, how, how much fun you have in nature, but let's say we're gonna go out to the woods. How do we prepare? And then we'll get into what you do when you're out there. Alrighty, um, well, the first thing I would do is I would pick up Naturally Curious and I would just breeze through the month that you're right. in. Right, this is, this is your book, which is a great field guide. Yeah, so And just familiarize yourself t so that you know what you're looking for. And when I go out, I, I, or if I'm with any age, I encourage people to bring a hand lens, a magnifying glass, because mm -hmm. um, a lot of things look, it's just a whole new world. And so my equipment includes a hand lens, um, often a ruler so that if I find a track, I can measure it. Um, a, a baggie or two so that the collector and me can come home with some good finds and bug dope if it's summer uh, and that and a pad because I, I and a pencil um, so that I can write down different observations so once you're you're out there what what can you do I mean you must look under rocks yes <laughs> oh, a yes, lot of salamander yes, shots yes. I look under rocks um, by streams especially. Um, if, if you're going to a stream, most of the insects are clinging to the bottoms of rocks at the bottom of the stream, so turn them over. You'll see stone flies and all kinds of caddis flies with their cases. So I really get into the habitat that I'm exploring. Um, what was I gonna tell you? Oh, rotting logs. Um, they, they, they're at home for countless insects and invertebrates. And if you have uh, an ample supply of them and you feel like sacrificing one, if you, especially with kids, if you pull it apart and see what's in it, it's a fantastic um, exercise to see whose home is there. And that's where your magnifying glass yes, would, really, exactly. would really come in is when you're looking yep. at those yep. little teeny eggs, yep. insects that people yep. don't insects get to and see eggs, that. Exactly. See and that you don't much. really have to pull it apart to, to find a lot. And can we discover a lot of these things in our towns and cities as well? Oh yes, absolutely, absolutely. You don't need acres and acres of wilderness at all. I mean, just within a square yard. If you watched a square yard and you made four visits a year to that yard, um, you would see changes and seasonal effects and um, different activities, whether they're ants or whatever they are. Thank you, Mary. Mm. You're very welcome.